Hello, my name is Exibo, and this is Unity of Command 2 Stalingrad Mission on Hard. Three, two, one. Right, Stalingrad. I'd say of the Stalingrad missions in the Stalingrad DLC, i.e. Road to Stalingrad, Disaster from the Volga, I'd say this one is the most difficult. Oh, actually, by the time I'm recording, oh, right now as I'm recording this, I haven't yet finished the Astrahan mission, so I have no clue. There is Stalingrad in that mission. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna happen in the future. It looks really great, but uh, yeah, it's still 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 something I'm gonna do. But let's look at this mission, and it can give, like actually bite your bum. It can be pretty hard because it's a it's a mixed defensive offensive mission, and I think I'll make it make a couple of mistakes in this playthrough. It was like a week ago when I actually recorded it, and. Uh, I don't remember every single detail, but as you can see what I'm doing here, first and foremost, removing, clearing uh, clearing all these uh, Volga positions and south flank objectives. You don't need to hold them. Uh, and destroying those bridges. So the objectives you don't need, you, you, you don't need to hold them throughout the mission. So you only need to hold them uh, starting on turn nine, which is the last turn in the mission, right? At least on hard. And so, uh, that's one. You don't need to hold them. And it's much easier not to hold them, right? So you can actually free up your tanks. You can actually use your Romanian troops to to provide, well, yeah, more more consistent uh, defenses uh, in the south, just south of uh, Stalingrad instead of, like, this completely spread out nonsense. And, yeah, so definitely just forget about it. Yes, you will have to retake them, and retaking them is possible. It can be a bit onerous, uh, because, yeah, you have to prepare for it. But, well, well, once you're prepared, it's fine. By the way, here's the Soviets actually pushing through the north flank. Once again, it's not a problem. It does reduce your uh, supply efficiency, but, once again, this is retakeable. I think I'll retake it next turn. It's not so difficult. Plus, all of these breakthroughs by the Soviets means that they tell, like they just expose themselves. So they lose their, uh, they lose their fortification. Uh, they lose their like probably better terrain uh, in in their positions. They lose their river position, like this river footing, uh, in their defenses. So yeah, they just get exposed and much more easy to destroy. Uh, also, yeah, and you may have noticed that, ooh, a big saturation strike because Southern Station has to fall now. And I, I, I it looks like I'm taking some, some losses here. Oh no, faint attacks. Okay. So, uh, as you have noticed, I specifically and very, very deliberately gave rearguard uh, to the uh, division that took Mamayev Kurgan. The problem is that... The AI loves it. Well, maybe because, like, to represent the hi history, actually, because, like, that's pretty much the tallest mountain, tallest hill next to, uh, next to uh, Stalingrad and its important location artillery-wise. So, in real life, it was pretty important. Here in the game, it's kind of... Uh, and so... But the thing is, the Soviets will, the AI will uh, be very zealous about that specific hex. And you kind of really don't need to hold it, so don't. Yeah, you'll use this if you can, like, destroy a bunch of enemies, but, like, don't waste your troops. I, I have a feeling that I'll lose someone there. Some division. I hope it's not the, uh, this tank. Probably it, it's not going to be. But, like, be very careful about Maiv Kurgan. Uh, you may use recon in force, use rear guard, something that prevents the Soviets from counterattacking in force. And here's, by, by the way, that, that elite uh, infantry is not going to participate in the battle. Oh my god, that's pretty serious. And as you can see, um, that tank is not going to feel well very soon. I forgot about it. And by the way, okay, about slightly more important and fun things, you may have noticed that I actually destroyed bridges uh, near Stalingrad. Oh, yes, so near factory districts and Volga Ferry. I think it's critical that you do. Uh, you get one, um, one, uh, what was it called? Uh, the the uh, precision bombing uh, uh, theater asset. You can bomb one uh, supply hub or bridge. So I highly recommend you to remove the Volga Ferry Bridge because it's the closest to uh, Southern Station. And the problem is that if you keep the bridges intact, and the Soviets, as you can see, the Soviets have some reinforcements on the other bank of the river. 
And so, if you take Southern Station and the bridge is intact, it's much easier for the Soviets to actually conduct... Ooh, cities in the ruins. Okay, getting lucky there. Uh, and so it's much easier for the Soviets to do the the usual AI technique. Well, it's not just the AI, like I do, I use that technique all the time. So the usual technique of uh, shuffling units in and out as you attack, because you hold the hex next to the objective, and you do like, uh, you do a faint, a faint, 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 and then a proper attack, and you kick them out. You want that not to happen, and the units that sit in Stalingrad proper are slightly more static, so the AI is kind of ordered not to leave the positions and kind of keep uh, keep holding on to all of these objectives, all of these hexes, so if you block those bridges, especially the Volga Ferry Bridge, because like Factory Districts is a slightly less urgent objective, so you can actually, eh, you can, you'll, the, the city will be much clearer, once you reach uh, factory districts and once you take it, so it's not going to be that big of a problem. Uh, but I still destroyed it. I actually had a Brandenburger, the sabotage guard, uh, from a prior mission. I actually re don't remember. I, it's not so difficult to actually find out because you can see uh, see what uh, what cards the objectives give you in the scenario editor. It's not so hard. And I actually use this like if I'm if I'm facing a new mission and I want to see if I can use a card uh, to before I take an objective. Uh, and, um, but I, I really don't remember. It's one of the previous ones, and I had it, and I, so I destroyed the other bridge, and it's, it's the last mission in this conference, and you, uh, yeah, you don't lose the card, so, like, it's still, like, kind of kosher, according to my rules. And here's me just clearing, uh, clearing the, the area around Southern Station. At this point, I don't care that much about South Flank. It will help me, like, this This. This work will help me actually clearing South Flank. Uh, but right now, I'm more concerned about securing Southern Station, just to make sure that the Soviets don't hold a single hex around it. So make it as safe as possible. And here's me just doing something about Mamayev Kurgan. I don't know why. I, I've decided to go the the uh, AI way and try and kick uh, kick the AI out of that hex. I, I suspect I had good chances actually of destroying that division because I pretty much haven't sustained any damage. And have I told you that these breakthroughs by the AI are always or very often an opportunity unless they like like block your supply lines and everything. By the way, don't forget to kind of do these raids in the north. Be careful, use your defensive abilities. I mentioned it in my cracking video, but this is very helpful. You can actually if you, your tanks tank divisions are strong and they should be strong, uh you can actually destroy a lot of Soviets in the north because it's a flat it's flat terrain. They're generally not very well entrenched there, and yeah, you can deal a lot of damage and then have much less trouble dealing with all of the rest. And so, but back to breakthroughs, as you can see, I've encircled these guys, and they're, they're not screwed. And, like, it exposes them, and generally these kinds of uh, breakthroughs, unless they block my supply lines and it's not very easy for me to actually, uh, and I kind of, kind of blocking my supply lines <laughs> as I'm speaking, uh, and so, uh, no, generally it's, 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 the enemy exposes itself, and, uh, it's, if, if you are well prepared, uh, it's not so difficult to actually deal with those breakthroughs, uh, I kind of remember there was the uh, Barvenkovo offensive in the Moscow 41. Like, like that's the worst example of me kind of uh, failing to. And by the way, uh, yeah, I'm trying to gradually push through the city towards factory districts. And so I don't know why I'm going for the for the strongest link because there's that like three step division right next to factory districts. Uh, I wonder why I do that. Do it like that. Actually, I don't really remember. Maybe just to destroy the stronger units so that they don't uh, counterattack, maybe. Uh, but in Barvenkovo Offensive, which is a mission, in, a late mission in um, Moscow 41 DLC, so there is a hex that feeds all of the maps. So you've got like a very long railway line that feeds everything, and it kind of begins on the map. It begins not very far from the front line. So the actually. The Germans, uh, the German AI can actually, if you're not very careful about defending that particular section of the front line, 
I hear the Germans will send a pretty strong division and block that hex and you will not be able to continue the mission. It'll be a mission ending, uh, mission ending event. Yeah, you will be able to dislodge that division, but not, <laughs> not quickly enough. And pretty much the entire map will be out of supply. So, especially the, well, obviously, the, the places that you care the most about. Okay, so turn five, and we are almost. Okay, we should actually reach factory districts, but my position right now around factory districts is pretty good, as you can see. So, and I've just realised that I forgot to uh, to switch the uh, the uh, fog of war off, unfortunately. So I'm not showing the enemy movements because, like, this is the time where the Soviets get some reinforcements. And city in ruins, obviously, but I'm still getting a bit lucky with the with the aerials. By the way, use a Luft uh, Luftflotte um, card here that you get in the Mayf Good Gun. Because Disaster on the Volga is definitely an easier mission than this. Uh, and actually the easy the ease at which you'll succeed in uh, Disaster on the Volga, like directly is directly proportional. Uh, to your success, um, not losing too many troops here. And Factory Districts is mine. And thankfully, it's a city in ruins, so yeah, there is a there is a bit of a silver lining in ruining cities. If you can actually take them, you are set for, for a very easy defense. And so, um, yeah, so... Use Luftflotte, it'll give you one area su aerial support and a full flying artillery. Flying artillery, in my opinion, is like a slightly less useful thing overall for the goal of like maintaining and not losing your troops. So, but it might come, 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 ha come in handy if you're in a pinch. Uh, and yeah, absolutely, use Luftflotte. So, like the missions that, the missions that come after Stalingrad are not that difficult, at least, well, not in my experience yet, right? So it's like in, in none of those missions, you, do you need, uh, do you need a Luftflotte, uh, the Luftflotte card? Maybe like in one of them, no, 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 doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Use Luftflotte here, it, it's worth it, it's worth it. Not losing too many troops here is worth it because while uh, while Disaster on Volga is an easier scenario than this one, overall, it's still a difficult scenario and you can actually screw yourself if your force is a bit too weak. And I think that uh, I've seen many, many people complaining about, um, not many people, but some people complaining about a Disaster on the Volga um, being impossible. And like I'm playing on hard, and this is the difficulty level that shouldn't be played according to the game, and so uh, I'd say a part of it is people not being careful in Stalingrad, not being careful about them, um, uh, not being careful about their troops losing way too much, and obviously it's like it's also knowing what to do in Disaster on the Volga, but I think maybe it's there's also the factor of oh I. I like my 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 force is way too weak for this. Even though, to be honest, I I, I found out like I've just checked uh, that uh, like <laughs> disaster on the Volga. I should be talking about that mission on while doing that uh, the uh, the video for that specific mission. Anyway, so uh, disaster on the Volga is uh, like I looked at the standalone scenarios. Typically, standalone scenarios are a bit more difficult because. Um, there is no snowballing involved in these missions, and the thing is that if you play this on hard, there is no snowballing, <laughs> and they try to kind of avoid and uh, combat it. And by the way, this is this is me actually preparing south flank and all of those other objectives. I found that vulgar positions. I might actually use a a uh, flying artillery. I don't remember what I did there, but as you can see, it was it is slightly slightly like a slightly more difficult uh, objective. So the um, south flank, yes, it's. It's uh, partially suppressed, and I will. I have two reasonably strong tank divisions there, and I'll just take it and not worry about it. Whereas, uh, yeah. So my, my actual my force in my campaign playthrough of uh, of Disaster on the Volga was weaker than the stuff you get in in standalone scenario, which is. I suspect not unheard of, but it's something that uh, generally it's not. It's not true. It's usually usually standalone scenarios that are more difficult than the um, campaign ones. 
But as you can see, this is done. The AI will not, is not going to do anything else. Uh, all of the objectives are secure, and I'm really happy with the outcome. So thank you for listening and watching, and until next time.